G'day, I'm Michael Thompson. I'm a Big Fix Technical Advisor for Asia Pacific based out of Melbourne, Australia. You can find my QR code down the bottom, which you can scan to get in contact with me via LinkedIn. This is my final video in the series of installing and configuring Big Fix in an air-gapped environment. In the previous video, I showed you how you can activate subsequent sites like patches for Windows. And in this final video, I'm going to show you how you can actually pick and choose individual files that you wish to download to cache on your big fix environment to be able to deploy. So what I'll do in this particular instance is just concentrate on getting just the critical ones just as part of the example. So I think the easiest way to do that is to use the actual ID of the actual pixels that we want. So I've activated the column here so that I can see that and I can then actually search on that. So what we'll do now is we'll drop back to our computer here and we'll reference our settings here. And what we wanna do is go to section three and what we want to do is gather and create a file, a reference file. So first thing we'll do is we'll go to our file here and we'll change this to a D for download. And we'll go back and we'll change our other sites here to N. So that way we're just gonna get a, a file list created off the actual patches for Windows site. So we'll bring up our command prompt again. So in this instance, we want to specify the site, and we've got the site list there, and then we want to do create file list, and we'll call this patches master dot text. We hit enter, and we can see here it's written a file list to patchesmaster.txt. So if we go and have a look here, here's our file that it's got with all of our particular patches in there. Now, essentially what I like to do is take a copy of this file, um, And we'll just call it download files. So what we'll do is we'll do control F and we'll find our first ID. So that's this one here. So we'll cut that and we'll go to the top of the file here and we'll put that in. And then we'll jump back to our big fix environment and we'll get our second ID, which is this one here. And then we'll go control F and we'll find that one, which is this one here. So we'll cut that one. We'll go to the top, we'll paste that one in as well. And then we'll go and grab our third one, which is this one here. And this is that particular file there. All right, so we don't need the rest. So we'll delete all of them. So we've got our three lines here. We want to download, so we leave that to yes. So that's it, we save that file and close it. 
So now, all we do is bring up our command line. Let's have a look at the actual So we've done the edit the file list. So now we just do file. We pass the file name and then the switch of download. So our file is download files text and we use the switch of download. Now this is going to create a cache folder there that you can see happening in the background. And here you can see it's downloading those three particular files. So once again, I'll speed the video up and we'll come back when it's done okay so their files have now finished and we've got them in the download cache directory so now we need to copy the files into the sha1 directory from the cache file so we jump across to our big fix server here And what we'll do is we'll just go into our gap tool. We'll drop it our whoops. We'll copy our cache directory across. And what we'll do is we'll go into our big fix enterprise, our best server, root bez, BF mirror, downloads, SHA-1, and we'll paste these particular files in there. So now that we've done that, we now have these particular three particular fixlets capable of being executed. So let's go take action and see that it works. We should be able to see straight away in source here, it will show up if it's worked as being cached and there we go cached on server so now because it recognizes that that patch is actually on the server it will download and install that on the client which in this instance happens to be the same server so the principle of what we've done here is exactly the same for any particular content that you want to use, whether it be patches for Windows or the best support site, any site at all that has content inside it, which actually downloads. So if we were to have a look here at install Big Fix Web UI, that's going to have some files that download. And you can see here with the prefetch command. So we, we can run that exact same process against the best support site with the D and create a file list and then edit that file list and then run the AGAP tool to download the specific files that we want from the particular IDs of those sites content. So that's all there is for today's content. Here are some helpful resources for you. First of all, we have bigfix.com, which is your landing page for finding out further information on a product offerings, and you can schedule a demo there. Next is support.bigfix.com, which provides you with product documentation, access to create support tickets, and also some details on events and webinars. And finally, we have forum.bigfix.com, where you can interact with other like-minded Big Fix enthusiasts 
ask questions, and also engage with other users. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, and I wish you success on your continued Big Fix journey.